What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? This is SK Shuyan. I'm bringing you Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi Battle 26. Yeah. Yeah. And we're flying high today with Norvern on my side and Skarmory on his. And I'm going to use Dragon Pulse. I thought he was going to switch out, but he didn't. Oh, well. Not oh well, not okay really. Uh, this thing is dangerous. Uh, defensive Pokemon can be very dangerous. He uses spikes, and I already knew right then and there I'm in I'm in some big trouble. Because if he keeps using spikes and or um uh, stuff rocks, my team is gonna be messed up each and every time it comes. Uh, I switch out. So me being an idiot. I'm a flame charge just to get my speed up. Well, I really need to get rid of flame charge because my inboard is so slow. It doesn't even outspeed anyway. Um, and I'm left with him still getting outspeed by everything he comes in contact with. So uh, he's on Whirlwind and I get uh, my Norvern brought right back out. And I air slash. It's not very effective, of course, but he, get, he flinches and I'm going to air slash again. And like I'm hoping, and I already know it's not going to happen, that he just continually gets flinched, so that way I can get rid of his Skarmory without having to switch back out, and also without him having to use spikes. But that's not going to happen because he's going to use Roost. He's going to get his HP back, and that's leaving me in a bad spot here because now he has three layers of spike, and he can just whirlwind me out as he's about to do right now because you know. I can't do anything to him with that Pokemon. So I switch out to my superior and he whirlwinds just like I thought he was going to do. I'm uh, going to be switched right back out to my Norburn. And I just knew I just had to stay in and just let him whirlwind me out into whatever. Because with me switching, he's just going to keep whirlwinding, 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 wind, whirl, whirlwind, whirl, wind, wind, whirl. And I can't take him out like that. So, my inboard is in, I'm like, now I'm about to make the smart play. I'm going to flamethrower. It's going to take out his Skarmory. I should have did this the first time. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, I do know why, because I was being an idiot. And being an idiot is really putting me in a bad spot. So, now he brings in <laughs> Delphox, and I have to switch out inboard. I don't want inboard to get knocked out if I can at least, uh, at least do something for him. So I'm going to switch into my Norvern, and he uses Psychic, and it doesn't affect my Norvern. And, you know, I'm like, yes! Psychic does not work against Dragons! So I'm going to Nasty Plot with my Norvern, get a plus two in Special Attack. I just realized that this thing is faster than me, so after the Calm Mind, it's going to knock out my Zorog. Of course, it wasn't Norvern, but it's going to knock out my Zorog, and I'm like, darn it. If I was faster, then that my my uh night days would just easily knock it out one hit, but <laughs> can't really do too much about that either. So switch into my Samurai now and he's gonna uh, switch out his Del Fox and switch into his Trevenant. I'm gonna raise a shell. I just wanted to damage on whatever came in. So now I'm gonna switch my Samurai out. It's a bad matchup. I have nothing to really hurt this Trevenant. And I'm going to bring in the real Norvern. Uh, he uses Earthquake. It's not going to hit me, of course. He's chose to stay in. I missed Air Slash. He will with me. It doesn't miss. And it ends up hitting me. I'm like, come on. My Air Slash was going to take this thing out one hit for sure. I already knew it was. At least I'm thinking it is. Let's find out. Ah, oh, no. Nah, it doesn't take it out one hit. But it does do more than half, which is kind of good. Um, and he got flinched, so I probably wouldn't have been burned, but I don't know. I can't really go back into the past to find out. So I'm going to air slash it. Uh, I'm going to take this Trevenant out now. Uh, thank you, Norvern. Trevenant post, uh, opposed a threat. Opposed a threat. <laughs> uh, was a threat to my Samurai, who can easily come in and uh, sweep uh, once he uh, has the... Uh, once he has the ground to, that's the word I'm looking for, something like that. Anyway, so he sends in Del Fox, I air slash it, 
he side gets me it's gonna take me out so now you know i'm gonna just be i'm just going to just send in my auroras it's a special attacker has a uh, high special defense uh he playing thors uh does m way more than i thought it was gonna do um just 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 it's just too much so i'm gonna set up my light screen he's gonna play thor again i'm gonna take the time to use ancient power not sure if it's gonna one hit ko uh it actually does it knocks it out one hit i wish i would have got the stat boost because once i would have got that stat boost i would have been faster than anything on his team i would have been able to knock out anything on his team with mostly one hit but that's not going to happen for me the earthquakes that's going to take out my auroras and i'm like oh man like if i didn't let him get all these spikes set up and then whirlwinded me into different pokemon i could have I could have avoided taking as you know so much damage that I took in this battle. So I'm bringing in my superior. My superior has um, it's been training defense. So I knew it could take the Dragon Claw, and uh, I'm least seated. I'm going to be able to get some HP back, bringing me out of the red. And I'm still in um, my Overgrow, so I'm able to do more uh, grass. Uh, damage to him, which is good for me. Uh, he dragon claws me. It's not gonna take me out. Like I said, I got that defense on my superior. Um, my light screen is gone now, and I'm gonna Giga Drain, get some more HP back, and I'm able to take out this Tyrantrum. So goodbye, Tyrantrum. Thank you, superior, for your defense. Goes to show that a grass type Pokemon can beat a dragon. I mean, even although it is hard rock top the head, it happened. You watched it happen. So now he's going to send. Well, I'm going to use my core. He's going to bring in his Aegis Slash and he's going to Sword Stance. And I have nothing on my team that'll be able to take this Aegis Slash on. Because, you know, he is. It, no physical Pokemon will be able to handle it because of the King Shield. And I won't be able to predict it that well. And he swords like a, you know, he already just swords dance. And whatever I switch into is going to take heavy damage. So Superior had to stay in. So now I'm going to have to send out my Embor. He's taking spike damage up his ass so much. Like, he's bleeding from that shit. Excuse my language. I'm just a little frustrated with how this battle went. And it could have been different. So he used King Shell, he used Flamethrower. Uh, his leash sheet is going to take some uh, HP from him, giving my Embor some HP, giving me 87. That's not even half my, half, not even half of my total HP. It's going to use Shadow Sneak. Embor is not going to be able to take that. It's a plus two Shadow Sneak. He'd already done taking Spike damage twice, and my Embor is gone. So now I'm, I'm left with my Samurai. He's a physical attacker. I can't predict his I can't predict his King Shell. Even if he didn't use King Shell, he has his Shadow Sneak. It's gonna take me out one hit regardless. I, I can't I can't handle any move from this thing. And I end up losing to Dave. Dave, we gotta go again, man. You know. I'm I'm a lot smarter now. My battle tactics are better than what they were in this video, I hope. So once again, thank you viewers. Like, comment, and subscribe to me. Also share this video. SK Shuyan out.